Good morning on Monday. I got a new dress. <laughs> yes, good morning. It's Monday. I've been away in London for the weekend. Um and it was absolutely lush. So on um on the Friday we went out um and we had Thai food. That was really nice. And then on the Saturday we went to um went to Wislington charity shop sale expensive but i did actually buy some stuff hmm, which i will show you later the things i purchased and we went down camden passage which had um like i think they do like a weekly sort of flea market thing lots and lots of jewelry stores but they all knew their prices they were all like i don't know what they're doing like on a market store on a saturday when they're selling like amazing stuff they probably i don't know Anyways, they have amazing things. But still, I ended up finding two little gems from there. So again, I will show you those later. Um, and then we went to the pub and we met up with Emma. Emma came to the Hitchin meetup and she's a, she's a local. So um, she's like, yeah, meet you there. So like, go on then. Um, so that was a nice afternoon, but a little bit tiddly. And then on the Sunday morning, we did the car boot sale, um, like local, in, um, it's in Dalston. And I um, got a couple of bits there as well, which I'm quite chuffed with. So yeah, I will show all of these in a bit. Can't remember how much I've spent on random things. Maybe about 70 quid, maybe more, 80. Anyways, I got some cool stuff anyway. But today, obviously, back to it, back to work. Um, I have got 43 things to package up and send out this morning. I will quickly show you my dress. This is from Religion. It's, it, it is like a knee length dress with like bits at the side so you can tie up and make it shorter or longer if you want. But I put it at knee length. And um, yeah, I like a bit of tie dye. And it's cotton, so it's nice and cool. There you go, that's my try on video. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm going to finish having my coffee, get my stuff together, and I will show you shortly what's going out. And then also, I've had an exciting package, and I will show you that later as well. Um, I don't have to do any listings or anything today because I've done tonight's listings, um, and I'm going to have a listing day tomorrow. So thankfully, I can take my time doing the parcels and stuff today, which is quite nice. And then I think, am I going to the cinema tonight? Can't remember. Jordan, remind me. Although, if we are at the cin going to the cinema, we will already be at the cinema when this video comes out. So, use your telepathy. Thank you. Back in a bit. Okay, hopefully before parcel comes, I'm apparently expecting the parcel. Nothing exciting, just packaging a thing. Um, I'll try and get this done, but apparently it's on its way. Ooh. Anyways, right, what's going on? So, a two kilogram parcel of costume jewellery went for fifteen ninety nine. This copper look with like um, all horoscope symbols, you know, that kind of thing on it went for four pounds. I think I've had it on myself for quite a while. This EPNS gravy or sauce pot that went for $9.99 someone's bought um two Michaela Frey bangles you know the enamel bangles one abalone inlay one and then the cool necklace that looks like a mariner's compass um they paid $49.96 altogether for those this retro cuff bangle with enamel inlay in it $11.99 a lot of bangles going out mm. Uh, this Reese or Rice ro uh, woven leather bracelet, fourteen ninety nine. This sterling silver with pearl uh, bracelet, seventeen ninety nine. This chunky gold link necklace, eight ninety nine. This uh, Lion King like brooch, five ninety nine. Uh, sterling silver and lapis lazuli beaded kind of crescent shaped bracelet £12.79 some Toledo Damascene cufflinks £4.25 and this I won't open it up because it's like a new tag thing 
um, but it's a necklace with like a little bee and honeycomb on it. Um, six pounds for that. Two just blank nomination charms. I'm selling them individually. Um, and then I just keep topping up the listing whenever I find like a couple of odd ones. Um, so seven pounds 98 for those. This ethnic tribal primitive is a word I should have used, but anyway, that bangle six pounds. This sterling silver one with a mother of pearl inlay, fifteen pounds. This um, milk glass necklace, eleven ninety nine. Two kilogram lot of costume jewelry, sixteen pounds. This replica Swiss coin toggle clasp necklace, fourteen pounds. This um, CTO, it's gold filled, but those are real emeralds on there. Just in a type in, but I I couldn't find out who the company it was for was but anyway someone probably recognized it because they bought it for 19.99 so that's cool there's gold for may and baroque pearl bracelet 18.99 tortoise and the hair brooch nine pounds there's faux mother of pearl collar necklace ten pounds 39 um four kilogram broken costume jewelry 19.99 Oh, don't bother picking them up and show you that because you know what broken jewels look like. Um, this little bell ringing Santa, two pounds twenty one. Oh, I've had him obviously for quite a while. Uh, Pierre Cardin faux pearl necklace and bracelet set, I think. Yep, uh, nine pounds fifty nine. These Monet triangular dangly earrings, seven pounds. This little cross necklace, just silver tone, nine ninety nine. Jamie Oliver, Cheeky Mug, Top Gramps, $9.99. These two necklaces go into the same person. They pay £33 for those. Obviously, all of this is plus post. Um, apart from when I do two kilograms of costume jewellery, which is the next one, that's £16. Another one of them. Um, and this has got free post on, on it as well. This is just um, a little mother-daughter matching necklace set, £7.99. A G-Star Raw denim shirt that I've had quite a while, I think. Well, maybe not that long. Um, £11.24. 70s modernist necklace, £11.99. Big chunky, lovely clasp, um, beaded necklace, $14.99. A uh, job lot of pendants, £10. These geometric half hoop clip on earrings, $5.99. Nomination charm, the Italian flag, £10. Another job lot of costume jewellery, $19.99. These comedy tragedy matching pins, $7.99. Another lot of costume jewellery, £17.99. Um, £18 for these three cloisonne enamel brooches. All going to the same person. This alpaca Mexico, £7.99 for that little brooch. And then it's end on a bit of nudity, nudity. These naked lady, oh, dangly earrings for £7.19. So I've got a lot of packaging up to do. Um, thankfully nothing too tricky so that's okay so I'll be back in quite a while <laughs> okay well I've packaged everything up they sat there I've got three bags three bags load to take out one for the post box and two for the parcel shop but while I'm sat here having a coffee um, I'm going to show you what I ended up buying when I was down in London so there are a few charity shops that we went into most of them were um, like silly expensive but some of them I managed to get some what I think are decent things anyway so uh, this was three pounds this is a Bowden skirt quite a nice pattern actually a bit like tulips or something um yeah three pounds for that size 14 they originally had it up for 12 pounds 50 and then reduced it down to three pounds that's a bit more like it 12 pound 50 cool they're on a jar um and then I bought a bunch of jewellery from charity shops um spent more than i like to but i think they're worth it if you see what i mean so this one was 10 pounds it's a bit of sterling silver and mother of pearl but it's got um little chinese characters in it so i don't know what they mean i think normally things like that um tend to be you know luck and prosperity and things like that good health and stuff um but there'll be someone out there that will love that this one didn't come uh with a chain 
but it, it is sterling silver, it's stamped 925, and it's very unusual, like, kind of dagger, sort of ethnic looking, cool thing. It's got this little spiral at the top, I don't know if that means anything, it's stamped 925 on the back. I might actually swap off the box chain on that, um, and put the dagger on it, and find maybe a daintier one for that one, because I bought those two together, and I bought um, also this ring at the same time, I think. This is a little heart and moonstone. I paid a tenner for that, but I thought it was quite pretty. So there you go. Oh, and then also at the same time, I bought these two. These were tenner as well. But they're quite nice, substantial earrings. Sterling silver, but they're also Taxco Mexico. 19, uh, looks like 92 it's got on there. Now, I'm not sure if that is the date. I think it is, because there is another number. There's like TC... 138 I think it is and that normally tells you um or I think there is a way of looking up like who it is actually designed by but I thought they were quite fabulous this was £3.50 and considering I've just sold some Michaela Frey it's actually quite cool because this is a proper signed Michaela Frey rather than like a printed signed one if you see what I mean so that one's got quite nice pretty pink roses and blue enamel that's cool. This one was a bit of a dud, but never mind. Gosh, well, I don't know if it's a dud. It's just that it's it's very commonplace. You can get them off AliExpress, but um, I paid three quid for it, and it, it is about three quid. But I thought it was kind of fun anyway. Someone out there will want it. I looked up what that um what that means, and it can either mean front yard, or I think something like lunatic. How bizarre. But there we go. So those are my charity shop. Oh no, I got and I also got two mugs. Um both of them Kath Kidston. This is two pound fifty for the football one. And then it was two pound for this big flowery, quite nice deep one as well, like wide one. So that's cool. And then right, car boot sale and markets. Um I'll show you my car boot sales first. So Download is this weekend, so I'm maybe a little bit late on that if I, even if I list it right now, they're still not going to really get it in time because download starts on Thursday, so not really going to happen. But someone who might go to download might go, oh, I wish I had a, a vintage 80s Metallica t-shirt. It is very well worn, as you can see, like the red background is coming off, but it only cost me £2. Um, and I figure someone out there is going to want that size medium on that one. I got a Tefalome. The same guy was selling one of those hamburger telephones, but someone just pinched me. He was on the phone at the time, and I was like, I was like, is he having that? And he's like, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, if I come back round in like, you know, however long, and he hasn't had it, I'll have that. And he's like, yeah, no worries, I'll keep it for you. But the guy like did end up buying it, but it's just a bit rude that he was on the phone. And it's like, look, are you having it? Because the guy needs to know if he can sell it or not. Now, anyway, I did end up buying this one off him for a fiver. It is um, corded so that you can put it in like a normal thing. It's quite, you know, I mean, like rotary phones, they're always just, it's just a satisfying thing, isn't it? And you can just about hear the ding when you pick it up as well. They don't go for absolutely loads because it's not a Bakelite one. Um, it's just a, you know, regular plastic one, but it's still quite nice, isn't it? Nice for a home like this. Or, you know, put a light bulb in it, I don't know. Um, right, these I did pay £12 for, for these buttons, but I wanted it for the box, for the Harrods box. So, I might, I might sell the buttons separate, I don't know, I don't know. We shall see, but I just wanted, like, a nice display box. Um, maybe brown wasn't the best colour. But I should certainly get something on that anyway. But I was just like, I do kind of want the box though. So we'll see. I'll think, I'll have a think about that one. These were a pound each of um, a lady on Instagram that she's like local to Hackney and she like um, upcycles jewelry and stuff and makes art and dresses and things. And she was getting rid of stuff that she was like, oh, I've just bought too much, so I want to get rid of. So I bought this brooch, but I think there might have been like a mirror or something at the back and she's probably looking into the mirror maybe. But still very handsome, isn't she? So she's lovely. She was a pound. He was a pound, this weird like copper 
looking dude and then couldn't leave him a little pterodactyl or brooches quite cool uh this was 50p i've been to crinkly bottom 50p bit of you know theme park memorabilia this was a tenner she did want 15 for it apparently i'm not sure i think it's bakelite see or well, definitely an early plastic it is on sterling silver i've tested all the bits um I'm not she did say it's by like a 60s designer and she did have written down who it was but there's no way i was gonna remember she wasn't too sure either because she was selling on behalf of someone else but yeah sterling silver bits and then an early plastic bead which has got some marbling but i don't think it's i don't think it's cherry amber i'm not sure there definitely is some marbling it might be like a reconstituted, you know, like a pressed, formed amber. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't shine and like glow, but then again. But anyway, I still thought it was cool for a tenner, a little bit of like, you know, modernist style. So I did like that anyway. And then from the flea markets, that you know, everything was like, oh god, I really can't afford that. But they did have a little box, one of them, and it was like all oh, silver charms and pendants and stuff. And um they were five for each, two for eight pounds. So I had a look through and I'm like, hello. Oh hello. So first of all, I got that one, and I recognised that one instantly. That's Malcolm Gray Autac. Um, it is signed MG on the back as well. And that is obviously like a Macintosh style design. I sold that a couple of times. So that's all right from four pounds. And then this one, this little one, which probably was a pendant. It needs like another little thing at the top there. But I could just see, I'm like, does that say OMG? And it does. And that is Ola Gory, Ola Marie Gory, um, who is actually think is like a student of Malcolm Gray something like that or the other way around yeah I think she's a student of Malcolm Gray something like that anyway but um yeah I haven't found this design of hers the more popular ones are like the animals that are like very Celtic style and stuff but it's still it's an allegory which is great so those were sweet little finds from a very expensive market so I'm chuffed with that cool Right, I am still waiting on that parcel. But anyways, I'm going to have my coffee, maybe get a bit of lunch in a minute because it's coming up to lunchtime, and uh, take my parcels around and hopefully, um, yeah, and then I will show you a very exciting parcel that I did get. Mm -hmm. And today's lunch is some yummy cheesy scrambly eggs on toast. Low carb toast, obviously. Now, rather excitingly, because Tilda's excited because she loves jewellery, Although she also loves things flying about the place and insects flying outside, isn't it? Yes. Well, I've got a package from Andy. Um, Andy's a fellow jewellery reseller, hoarder, collector type person. And she was like, can I send you a bag of stuff? And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you very much. She wouldn't take no for an answer. And I wasn't gonna give no for an answer. <laughs> Anyway, she said she sent me ooh, a packet of stuff. One of which on the front was this cool kitty brooch. That's awesome. I love him. Tilda, do you want to come and see? So we're gonna open this up and see what's been sent. Very exciting. I try and carefully do it so as not to cut through anything. So I see there's some cord stuff. Let's see. Oh my word. Okay. Wow, there's, okay, there's layers upon layers. Of, oh, I already see something I love. Okay. Are you going to help? To, oh my word, there's loads. Oh my gosh, okay. Right. Right. Oh, I'm dropping things. Okay. So first up, we've got... Sterling silver clasp, that's good and beautiful. Look at them, they look like sharky tooths. Probably rose quartz, aren't they? And they're lovely, Tilda. Are you going to come and see? The thing that I was like, oh, I love it. And you'll probably guess which one it is. Look! 
like a Viking ship. Isn't it cool? Maybe not like a Viking ship, because why are all the crosses there? I don't know. And they all look a bit scared as well. Look at them. They're like... Yeah, exactly that noise, Hilda. Let's put them there. Are you going to come and see? And then, now I've had this brooch before, this climbing froggy one. I've had him before. He's cool. We like him. And we've got some more stones and a bit of mother of pearl. Oh, again, it's on a fancy clasp. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and like all the pearls are like carved as well. Oh, that's pretty. Probably some kind of agate, isn't it? With a bit of mother of pearl. That's nice, isn't it? Nice for summer statement stuff. That looks like one of the Swarovski things. Oh, it, and it is a Swarovski one. See, I was got like the magnetic clasp. Okay, you're already being far too kind and far too generous for a start because this is stuff that you know this is good stuff let me put this one in come on come on why can't you do it this is meant to be easy so i'm putting it in the wrong place that's cute isn't it no and we've got a nice little glass pendant that's pretty and we've got some oh, lovely string of beads there. Seed beads are very in this year, apparently. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. So that's one of those, begins with S. I don't shell, but it's a mm, shell, like a siva shell or something. It's like It's like a cross section. That's very cool, isn't it? Wow. We've got some turquoise. Or well, turquoise colour, because it might be dyed howlite. But that's rather fancy, isn't it? That's nice. Oh, so many presents. Um, what's next? Oh, that's a lovely bracelet. That's pretty. It's got all glass gems in it. Very nice. Very nice. We've got a chunky, got a big chunky one. Oh, it's got, oh, do you know what? I might have to keep this one. I mean, you know, because it's got a nice dog clip on it. That's cool. Can't see any marks on it. It feels a bit light for silver. It's very nice though. I do like a dog clip. They're very cool. I'll give it a test. You never know, it might be. Oh, right, we've got a few. Um, oh, they're cool. Little clay ceramic earrings. Oh, again, some are going, <laughs> Oh, these are pretty. So we've got like little silver beads and then these little like moon glow ones alternating. And then very similar with these ones, but with faux pearls. Pretty. They cost sterling um, findings them as well. I think maybe it's like someone has made them fancy. They look quite nice together as well, don't they? Lovely. And we've got all rings and what's the oh they oh that's cool. Oh I like them. Saint Tropez. They're rather fabulous earrings, aren't they? Look at them. Signed Saint Tropez. I look them up, they look fab, don't they? Awesome, love them. A massive string of amber nugget pearls, like natural ones. They're fab. Wow. See if we can see any like insects and stuff in them. Can you see any? That's cool. Oh, Andy, this is all very, it's too nice. They're too nice to me. Like this. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm missing a little stone, but that's okay. I can definitely replace that one. But isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. I wonder what that's made of. Maybe like um, pressed and then silver plated? I don't know. 
That's gorgeous though, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> okay, he's cool. Simba? Don't know. Looks like a mask, doesn't it? Like a tribal mask or something. Wow. Not seen anything like that before. That's very cool. Good old Celtic bit, bit of um, sort of miracle type with a little glass in the middle. Very, very pretty. Lovely little sparkly flower with some AB stones, like filigree. What does that say? Made in Austria. I think that's what it says here. Yeah, made in Austria, stamped on the back. Lovely. Oh, another bit of Celt the Celtic collection. So we've got a nice Celtic knot there. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's in oh, it's in fancy little baggy as well. And that's silver, you nutter. That's beautiful though, thank you. I do like that. Oh, too nice. What's this? Silver Phoenix. Silver Phoenix. Oh, that's cool. I think this might be like a bit of onyx or something, I don't know. Yeah, that's nice. It's got a sterling clasp that's all like, oh, Thomas Sabo. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go, it's a Thomas Sabo pendant. Wow. That's a make. I remember looking at Christmas time in their window when there was like loads of cool stuff. Oh, there you go, Thomas Sabo. Blimey neck. What are you like? <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. You got a Bowie flash. Love it. What do you think, Tilda? You could wear that. Huh? Wear it as an earring? She said, no, I went to bubble wrap. Actually, no, she wants to play with the cords on this. We'll come to that in a minute, because that feels like littles. Oh my God, what have you given me? That's all blooming silver and stuff in there, you silly bean. Tilda, yeah, that's not... Tilda helping. And you helping? You want, you want the bubble wrap? <laughs> Look at that face. He loves a belly rub. <gasps> it's you! Can you see you? Look at us, you! Yeah! Yeah, it's you! You're gonna get closer. You wanna see? Who's that? Who's that? Huh? Well, now you're just gonna be in the way. That's you. Yeah. There's a kitty in there. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you can't get in it because you're. That is you in it. Right, you're distracting the lovely peoples now. Huh? Look, it's you. See? You. Who's that cat? Who's that cat? You're not interested now. Okay. Right, you're going to have to move off there. <laughs> move. Thank you. She's a sort, isn't she? Now she's found a pen to play with. There we go. Oh. Honest, um, I'm I'm a little bit like um. You you nutter. Oh my god. This is too much. This is like it's all beautiful, but what? Why? Oh my god. Look at this, it's a little abalone box. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, oh and it's got little things inside. Little earrings and things. 
Oh my word. Pincho in Mexico. I love that. Oh my god, and that's beautiful. Logan's got all pearlies in it. That's silver. And it's all silver and silver drag. Oh, the dragons. Look at the dragons. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, I might give that to Nia because it's a little turtle. My friend loves turtles. That's so cute. That is so cute. Honestly, I I don't I don't know what to say. If that's okay, there's like beautiful bits of amber in there. Look at that. Look, nutter. And then that better not be gold there. Might, might be like gold and back, like front and back. That is a pretty little locket. Look at that. Okay, I was not a. <laughs> oh, Labradorite, look at this. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. My word. What have you done? Oh, and now, and now we've got what amethyst in it. I had one very similar to that back in the 90s, you know. I know, Tilda. I know, Tilda Pops. These are, oh, you again, you again. People can't see. Okay. You like the amber, Tilda? Oh, amber. Pretties. And then this one's got like like a calendar on it. That's cool, isn't it? That's cool. Oh, is that a? It looks like a snaky thing. Oh, it is. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. That's cool. Snake, like two heads, is like snake with uh, some tiger's eye in the middle. That's lush. Some cool bow earrings. Who are they? Givenchy. Bloody hell, Givenchy earrings. Oh, and a little bunny rabbit. That's so cute, but this is way too much. It's lovely, it's so lovely. It's so lovely. Look at that, it's like a bit modernist. It's so lovely. What's in here in the little pouch that Tilda wanted? Oh, no wonder. Well, no wonder she wanted that. Oh, like some carnelia and some lovely earrings. <gasps> Celtic brooch. Beautiful mark of seat one. What's that Art Deco one? Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Got Marie in the middle. Oh, my word. Right. don't know what to say like thank you obviously like thank you so much but this is wow way too kind so pretty I love pretty way too kind I'm gonna stop this and 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 message her now because this is wow wow amazing thank you so much that's Far too kind of you, thank you. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was a little bit overwhelmed there. I've come outside and um, sit in the garden. And me and Tilda are having a swing on the swing chair. Actually, no, she's gonna go and catch some flies and fuzzy things by the looks of it. Just having a little sniff in the garden. Um, so yeah, I've just messaged Andy, just going like, thank you so much. It's unbelievably generous of you. How cool is that as well? So I just got distracted by it. It's like, it's really cool. Love it. Thank you. Um, 
Um, apparently her daughter Skylar, hello Skylar, um, it's a big animal fan, so she's going to love the bit with Tilda just now, I said. Um, so I said, could I make um, at least a donation to the charity? And she said, like, an animal charity would be nice. So I said, is it okay if I go and donate some money to um, the place where we got Tilda from? Because obviously, you know, like they, they, they get kittens in dire need of homes and, you know, and now she's got a good home and buy her some treats as well. So hopefully that money will go towards um, getting other cats and nice homes and stuff. Um, yeah, so thank you very much Andy and Skylar, so kind and there'll be a little thing in the post for you as well pretty soon. Yes. Ah, right, we're going to enjoy the sunshine a little bit and, uh, you know, and stuff. And, um, yeah, be back in a bit. <laughs> you okay under there, Tilda? Yeah, no, it's warm, isn't it? You should sit in the shade. Because you're half in, half out there. You silly kitten. Yeah, you are. Oh, cutie. Wait there, mum's 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 taxing something. You like that one? I like that. Okay then, one for mummy then. <laughs> and this brooch is going to sit here. Look. <laughs> Perfect. Just making tea. Hello. We've got some chicken and vegetable kebabs going on in there. Used some of this spice and thyme, summer sizzler Persian. I've had that in the cupboard for ages. So I figured might as well use some. I'm gonna have some salad with it, some like kebab sauce, and some cauliflower rice. And here it is. How beast does that look? Oh yeah. And it was so good. I forgot to eat my cauliflower rice with it. <laughs> Just chilling out watching some Thrifty George. If you haven't subscribed to him, make sure you do. Uh, let's get him somewhere near that thousand. I know that that's quite a lot to ask. I need 407 of you to go and subscribe, please. And if not, I'll be taking names, okay? Thank you. Right, I hope you've enjoyed today's um, very, very, very up and down, well, mainly, mainly up and then up a bit more kind of vlog uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now and put this together tomorrow I'm gonna have a bit of a listing day and then maybe a wander out and stuff we shall see but I'll catch you later in the week bye bye now bye bye